It is your girl CEO Queendom back again for another video but today we're not doing reaction video and no I'm not doing a makeup video I've already did that so go watch that okay period um but today I am doing a Q&A so I just want to put a disclaimer out there if you do not want to know the truth <laughs> don't ask me sis I'm gonna say that again if you don't want the truth, <laughs> don't ask me, okay? So, I was sent some questions. Um, I think these people really love me to the point that they love my view on how I look at things. So, I got sent some questions and I'm about to get started with this Q&A. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to the channel okay <laughs> period <laughs> period make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure that you hit like for this video make sure that you watch it all the way through sis bro you know what's up watch it all the way through and make sure to drop a comment down below and let's get started okay so boom the first question i have is how do you know when your parents parents aren't listening or not listening? I don't know about child parents, but I know um, being around my parents and then being around my husband's parents, um, you hear that child, mm-hmm, or they don't say nothing at all, they don't be listening. <laughs> They do not be listening at all. <laughs> they do not be listening. Um, Yeah, so that's my answer. When I know my mama not listening, she might say something that I know for a fact she wasn't listening. Mm, mm, mm. Like she do them noises. <laughs> my mama do them noises. <laughs> you know she not listening. <laughs> but that's okay i still love my mama okay period okay so the next question was why black people say must be nice when you get something new must be nice must be nice well i say that okay when i say it must be nice it's really like on a you know i wish i could do it you know what i'm saying type thing it's it's uh, more coming from a place of I wish I had the boldness to actually push through to actually do it. Now, for other people, because I don't fit in that category, for other people, I think it's like jealousy because people are like, mm, show must be nice, you know, because they don't have it. And instead of them wishing that they had the boldness to push themselves through to do it like me, they just resent you for having the courage. I just want the courage, sis. I, I just want the courage. I, that's it. But I feel like when people say that it's coming from an envious kind of jealousy place because those people don't want you to be higher than they are, if that makes sense. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about, period. Okay, next one. Ooh, <laughs> these some good questions. <laughs> Razor cane or Chick Fil A, and why you pick it? I'm gonna say Chick Fil A. Uh, I can't even get my words out. I'm going to say Chick Fil A. The reason why I'm gonna say Chick Fil A is for one, the customer service is magnificent. Like it doesn't even make me feel guilty that I'm about to order two things of fries. Okay, like it don't even make me feel guilty. Um, I like Razor King, but yeah, uh, the thing that I really love about Razor King is they buttery bread. That's about it. For Chick fil A, I want it all. Okay, all of it is good. Okay, so next one. Ooh. <laughs> 
this person got a lot for me because I swear they coming for me. They coming for me. Okay. Okay. Homemade hamburgers or water burger. Whew. Um, I, 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 I need to take a drink. Um, whew. that one's hard because I really, really love Whataburger. Like, like I really love Whataburger, but I really love my husband's homemade hamburgers. So I'm going to have to plead the fifth on this one because I ain't going to be able to answer that. Um, yeah, I just ain't going to be able to answer that. Zip lips. All right, moving on. Next question. Cool cups or popsicles? Cool cups. Like, I grew up in the era where cool cups was the stuff. My mama was the cool cup lady. So, y'all know I used to get all of the cool cups. I'm just saying. All the flavors. When she wanted to try stuff, we got the chance to try it. Chill. Cool cups. Period. Okay, next one. Ooh, okay. She didn't. She didn't switch up these questions. Now they serious, serious. Okay. Um. Why, when a man come into a relationship with a new woman, she feels her kids should be first and his kids should be second. Hold on. Okay. I. Okay. So. I think I understand this question. You're basically saying why in a relationship when a woman get with a man, her, her kid should be first. And he's okay. So boom, let me tell you something about me. Okay, see your queen them love kids, them well behaved kids, them bad kids. You can keep them at your house because I don't do them. <laughs> Period. Um, but I love kids so. If I was to get in a relationship with you, I would accept your kids. That's just me because I love kids. Um, I wouldn't really be stuck on the who's first, who's second because they all my kids at the end of the day. Especially if I'm going to be raising them and they're going to be under my leadership. I'm going to be making sure that their well-being is on point, on point. I would never make no one else's child be second when it comes down to natural things that they need, no. So with that one, I don't know how to answer that one because I don't play about uh, doing kids bad and having picks. I don't do that. And, and I have kids. And let's say, let's say before I got with my husband, he had a child. I'm going to love his child like I love my kids. Like I'm not doing that. I don't do that. I don't do that. I, I just don't do it, okay? We're not going to get deep into it because, baby, <laughs> period. I don't do it. Okay, next one. Why when a family member go and pay rent to another person before they help the person that once stayed with them? I don't know. That is the most backwardest stuff ever. That's just like black-owned businesses. You would tell a black-owned business, oh, um, this costs too much, but them, no shade. Them, them chin, the Chinese, the Asians, the Arabs, you will go and give them what they tell you to give them. Because you already know you can't get, you can't get them to scratch your back and you don't scratch theirs. You feel me? They want their coin. They want their money. They want their moolah. And you know that. But now with black, businesses you want to play on your back people stop doing that stupid stuff like ser that's the most ignorant stuff you could do the same respect you give to any other business that's not black owned you give the same thing to a black owned business and black owned businesses are not just uh selling clothing you got black owned people who are trying to create youtubes who are trying to create all kinds of things stop you know what I'm saying? Doing that. Like, that is the most pettiest stuff you can ever do. And I don't like that. Like, if you going to stay with me, pay your rent. I don't care if I'm your mama, your sister, your cousin, your uncle. I don't care. Because if you go out in the world, you ain't going to be able to tell them, oh, I'm your family. Because them people don't care. They want their money. So, 
have the same respect for your family member don't go nowhere and be quick to pay these people money and you not quick to pay baby if it, if it was me you got to get out of my house <laughs> no shade no cap <laughs> period you got to go baby you want you want a free a freebie i don't know where you getting that at because i was taught that a young age ain't nothing in this world free and that's period so sis <laughs> If they're in your house, <laughs> it's time for them to go. Okay? All right. Period. Okay. Moving on. Why when a woman get her new man, she drops all her important friends? I don't know about that one. Um, Because... <sighs> Let me see how I could say this in the most nicest way possible. Um, people use the word friend <laughs> too lightly, and they call everybody their friend, everybody ain't your friend, and it's just, it is what it is. Um, if you're my friend, friend, like, I didn't cry with you, I didn't cuss with you, we didn't do, did the craziest things together, uh, we love on each other's kids, um, we didn't pray together with the church together. Like you didn't put food in my house and put food in your house. Ain't no man or no woman coming and telling me that I can't be friends with you. You you get what I'm saying? Like I feel like say you stepping a little bit too far over the line because you can't tell me who I can be friends with. Just like I can't tell you. I'm not dropping nobody that's important to me for nobody. And that's just on period. Like, because when you create a bond like that with somebody and you go, that's basically like family now. And um, if it's real a real person, you don't play with family like that. You know what I'm saying? You take care of family. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why women do that. And let me tell y'all something while I'm on this subject. You women and you men, because it's not just women, you women and you men who get comfortable with getting new partners and you neglect your children or you put them before... They stop that stupid... Sh Ooh, I almost could. Stop that stupid stuff, please. Because you're creating a certain atmosphere in your home when you're putting your kids... Last minute, hold on. Let, let me get this... Let me get y'all together. If you got grown kids, they need to mind their business. That way, the door. Get you some business, okay? But if they're younger, you know what I'm saying? Your mama needs to live too. You know what I'm saying? She was living before she had you. So don't deprive her of that. But if you're putting men and women before your kids, you giving all the resources that you was given to take care of your kids, you giving to a man or a woman, you you need to sit in the corner because that is like why why because when he mess up who you crying to who who sees you cry who who's making sure that you're good your kids like why would you neglect somebody that's helping you like period no i'm not neglecting my kids and i don't care who i get with and that's on period i love my kids I love my friends, like my important friends. And I don't use friends very lightly because everybody ain't your friend. And that's the real, like if y'all ain't listen to Mo3, everybody ain't your friend, go listen to it. Because everybody <laughs> ain't your friend. Just because they help here and there, if it seems like they're taking more than they're giving, that ain't your friend, sis. Okay, all right, all right, moving on. So... I have four more questions. Okay, yeah. Four more questions and then we are done. Okay, so the next question is, why is it a person who stays with you front on money but will give to others money free no problem? Girl, front on who? You ain't front on me. See, 
People need to understand that people not stupid. People, you got some people that pay attention to everything. And if you have somebody around you that pay attention to everything, stop being stupid thinking you're getting over on these people. They already know what you're doing. And all you're doing is messing up your blessings. Because you don't know what you was going to get through that person. Not necessarily that person coming out of their pocket giving it to you. But it could come from somewhere else and bless you as well. And there you go. You done messed up your blessings because you want to be that type of person. Stop doing that. Like, it's it's hard finding people who do stuff from the bottom of their heart. And that's just being real. So if you getting over on somebody because they're doing it from the bottom of their heart, you silly. You a clown. Because ain't no way in the uh, that I would be sitting here playing on somebody that I know has has good intentions. They see what I'm going through and they helping me through everything. What is wrong with y'all? Like something is really wrong with y'all. Like y'all need to go. Okay, anyway. Um moving on. Why do people ask for your opinion but don't use it? I don't know. That that question right there is a really good question. And it really ticks me off because don't come and waste my time. Don't come and waste my time. If you want to do you and you're going to do you and that's going to be on big period, then do you. But leave me out of it. Okay? Because see, this valuable time that I have... Is not promised. And I'm not finna see him be playing with you. You don't wanna do it? Okay, cool, 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 cool. I ain't tripping. <laughs> I ain't tripping. But when that person that you was calling with all your problems stop answering the phone, when it, that person that you was hanging out with all the time and it was always your problems that was the center of the conversation, and now when you go knock at the door, they ain't there sister they didn't cut you out the equation x you out like a piece of cheesy pizza period they ain't got time people are tired of being used and abused and if you ain't catching on to that <laughs> you gonna wake up and ain't gonna have nobody to call stop playing okay next question why do people always hold on y'all I wrote this down and I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I don't know what I wrote. <laughs> okay, so it says why do people always why why do people always why are people always catching I don't know what the thanks I wrote right there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna skip that one. Okay, we got we got three verses. Yeah, I ain't hear that right. Okay, cool. Why do parents lie? Okay, so boom. I am a mother of four. I try my hardest not to lie. The reason why I try not to lie is because I can't remember my lie. I'm being dead serious. I can't remember my lie. So I try not to lie. If I tell my kids anything... It'll be like, oh, I may be able to do this. Or I I might be, I make sure that I emphasize on the might or probably because I teach them if somebody say probably or maybe, they might not do it. You might not go. You might not get it. You get what I'm saying? That's what I tell my kids. But as a parent, but when I was a kid, I never I never really understood, like, why. I think sometimes you got some parents that just ain't shh, you know? Um, but you have some that actually want to protect their kids or they think their intentions is to protect their kids. And actually, they're hurting their kids. So, I feel like... I can't really give an answer when it comes down to why parents lie because I can tell you why. I I would I don't lie. Why I would tell my kids, I don't know. 
you know, before just tell them, oh, yeah, this is what I'm getting you. This, da, 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 da. And, you know, but for parents, I would think it would be because they want to protect their kids. But actionality, you're not protecting your kids. You're hurting your kids. Because these kids be knowing way more and they're way more understanding than we think. Yeah, because a lot of people didn't know I was understanding. They just lied to me, you know. It is what it is, but... Um, well, you guys, that is the end of the video. Those are all the, the questions that I have. Um, I want to thank everybody for, you know, shooting me their questions. The person who showed me the questions about the food. Now, you must know I'm a foodie because I love food. I'm just saying. Um, but thanks a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet make sure to like this video and also drop a comment down below and until the next video peace out big period